Hey guys, welcome back to another office video. Two in a row. Well, what can you do? Um, I actually cleaned my hair tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I washed my hair yesterday. I didn't clean my hair tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't look great anyway, but at least I have a clean hair. Um, I'm in my pajamas. I got these uh, Grinch pants at Primark uh, last weekend. Um, I am sick. I have a really bad cold. I'm like sneezing all the time and I'm just, I feel horrible. Uh, and I have period cramps on top of everything. But today <laughs> I really wanted to get my stuff to the office. And now I have gotten basically everything down here. It took me six trips <laughs> walking down, up and down, up and down. But it was totally worth it. I mean, I love this stuff. It's Saturday evening, I'm sick, I've been doing this all day, but now is the fun stuff, like organizing everything, putting everything up in the shelves, putting my computer up, like, this is the, my favorite thing of all time. If only I had some IKEA furniture to build, that would make it even better. So for a lot of you, you would probably just like take the night off and relax, but now is when the fun stuff starts, so I really just want to get going. And I thought I would share it with you guys and show kind of how it all comes together. And I will be building my Arosi chair today. And they sponsored me with a chair. So basically this video is sponsored by Arosi. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful chair. For those of you who don't know, Sonny works at Arosi. So he hooked me up. He's the partner, like a social media manager guy. So he fixed that for me. And I have a discount code that is Katrin10 for 10% off everything on their website. But I'll show you the chair a little bit later. I'm going to get up my, uh, my computer on the desk and all that stuff first. And we'll end it with the chair, I think. And I hope you guys can hear that the echo is already so much better. Uh, my friend Lisette was here yesterday and today or maybe the day before and she put up her backdrops and we got some curtains up over the window we're putting up curtains over this window as well and in the last video i put a d reverb effect on the sound which improved it a lot it wasn't perfect but it made it a lot better so i will probably have to do that on this audio as well but Whatever, it's fine. I'm just happy that the echo is already like cut in half by just putting all our stuff in here, so. And I also got some moving blankets to put up on the walls inside of my little filming corner. So hopefully we'll get some stuff done today at least. But now I'm going to pop on a podcast and speed everything up. Look at my beautiful desk. I love this setup so much. This is a DIY desk solution from Ikea. It's a kitchen counter. I wanted this so bad because I think it's so beautiful. So it's a kitchen counter uh, and desk legs that you can stand and sit. <laughs> Put them up and put them down, lower and uh, higher. I don't know, you know, I can raise my desk up and raise it back down, lower it back down. So we bought the legs and we bought the desk, no, the kitchen counter, and we put the legs on the kitchen counter. So this desk cannot be bought anywhere, but you can of course buy the parts and make it yourself if you want to. Um, and this, uh, this matching, kind of matching uh, computer stand is from Grovemade and this uh, kind of matte thing is also from Grovemade and you have this little, this thing. I love Grovemade's products, uh, they are so beautiful and amazing. So I'm super happy to have their little desk stand or computer stand for my desk. Um, now, uh, the reason I'm talking to you guys uh, to begin with <laughs> is that I don't know where to put my shelf. Like, logically, for my workflow, I would probably just put it next to my desk, like facing my desk, in, like in this direction. 
um, so I could have the printer, because at home I had the printer on that uh, shelf, and that would be kind of nice. But since we are working with quite a lot of echo, the more like flat surfaces I can cover, the better. And this is a pretty big flat surface. Uh, of course, that little shelf is not going to do everything, but I feel like I should take advantage of all the things I have to put against walls and do it. It can always be moved later if it's annoying to have it there. I mean, it's kind of, it looks kind of out of place to just smack it up against that wall. But I feel like it's a good solution for now. And I can just move it like either here later or put it like against my desk as I had it at home. <sighs> but I just want to get everything up now at least and then I can kind of move things around. One thing I really love with this desk solution is that the legs came with one of these nets for cables. So I don't have to have a bunch of cables around the floor. I only have this computer cable and then the cable from the extension cord that goes under the rug. This rug is not very nice either. It's just a random rug from home that we weren't using but it's better than nothing, at least right now, and we need all the rugs we can get. So let's keep working. The shelf is up. Uh, my printer is up right here. And uh, the desk is more or less finished. So now let's uh, start putting together my chair. Ooh, I hope I don't need tools. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't even think of that. I still don't have my toolkit. It's at my mom's place. So if I need screwdrivers and stuff, oh, I won't be able to put it together. That would suck. But let's open it and see what happens. Look at that. Oh. This seat is so much wider than my current seat. Put the wheels onto this thing. They're all in. <laughs> Remove the bolts that are pre-mounted on the backrest. Two bolts are located on each side of the backrest. <sighs> Why do they screw me so hard? <sighs> like eight is to flip it upside down. And nine is to just have it upside down. <laughs> okay. This nice fabric. Ooh. You can move this pillow here as well. Very nice. Okay, I didn't film this part. Uh, but I'll show you the result now. I decided to make my own like sound dampening wall. <laughs> um, it's one of these clothing hangers uh, that I took a moving blanket and kind of I used these uh, little things and just cut a hole through the fabric and just mounted it onto the 
the clothing rack. Now I know this fabric isn't the thickest uh, fabric you can use and I know probably um, real sound dampening blankets or curtains are better but I wanted to try this budget version first so now I will be able to scooch this in behind the microphone when I record and hopefully it'll help a little bit at least for the echo thing. Okay, I think I'm all done here for now. I've cleaned up all the garbage all over the place and put some boxes downstairs. And this is what it looks like now. I need to get more fence so that I can drag it along all the way here. So menace can be on my side and not always have access to the rest of the room. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna cut it in in between my filming area or if I'm gonna put it the whole way across here. We'll see. Uh, doesn't really matter. We'll see. I'm gonna need more fence anyway. Here we have Menace's little bed, his water bowl. And this is what the setup looks like. My beautiful a rosy Vernaza chair. Catherine 10 for 10% off if you want to get one yourself. Thank you, Arosi, for sponsoring this video. And I actually took the foam from the chair box and saved it because, I mean, it can't hurt to put some foam up on the walls in here. Um, I put the, the sound thing over there, but obviously, I mean, these walls are extremely important as well, so... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get those blankets up on these walls since it's uh, concrete or brick behind the paint. So it's not very fun to drill into, but Lisette is going to drill up some frames on the walls. I know her husband is going to help her do that probably. So maybe I can sneak in and say, please help me too. Because I would love to get my uh, frames, because I have, you know, I don't know if you remember, if you follow me for a long time, I have these framed mountain posters that I love so much, and I would love to have them behind my desk on the wall. So I have three different mountains for, that are like framed. So that would be really, really nice to get those up, and then just drill some holes in the walls here and put up the blankets and... I don't know where to put the foam, but just put the foam wherever <laughs> I need to put the foam. I don't know. I just thought it could be a good idea to save that stuff. <sighs> so this is what it looks like for now. This is where I'm going to do my my work. Ooh, hey. Oh, hey. Can I put this down somewhere? I'm going to bring my gorilla pod tripod. <laughs> Uh, here as well, so then I'll be able to put the little camera onto that, but for now... And I feel very professional sitting here working at an office in town. Um, I will also be bringing down my makeup. Um, as you probably know if you've seen my <laughs> latest makeup video, I, all my makeup that I use fits into one little toiletry bag. It's not a lot. So I'm probably going to keep it in the toiletry bag and bring down a little like table mirror and put it here. Uh, so I'll make this area here my makeup station. So I can just get up in the morning and come down here, have my coffee here, put on my makeup here, do all of that stuff, like shower at home, obviously. Um, but so I don't have to decide before I come down here if I'm doing my makeup for a video or if I'm not. Uh, again, I only live two, one or two minutes away from here, so it's not the end of the world if I have to run home and do something, but I just want everything to flow. I want for everything to be smooth and nice, and I want to like make it as easy as possible for me to do good work. And if bringing my makeup in a little mirror down here so I can do my makeup here at 2 p.m. If I think of a great video idea I want to do, then so be it. Then that's what I'll do. And I don't have a problem with that at all, so I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Um, I don't know. But I think that's a very, very nice solution. <sighs> 
God, now I'm actually quite tired. It's 7.30 in the evening. So the plans going forth are tomorrow I am probably going to keep, like I'll bring down my mirror, I'll do a little bit more tweaking here. Um, on Monday we're recording a new episode of the podcast I'm doing. Again, it's in Swedish. That's why I don't really promote it on here a lot because I know a lot of you guys don't understand Swedish. Um, so on Monday we're doing podcast recording, which can't be done here yet, of course, because it's too echoey. So I'm doing the podcast recording at home and then I'll edit it down here. And in the evening I'm doing a live stream on my Facebook page. I know you guys don't hang out on my Facebook page a lot. But the page is called Katrin Bernt, just facebook.com slash Katrin Bernt official. That's my Facebook page. And I'm doing a live stream there to talk about a little bit about like confidence, self-esteem, and especially the fact that other people's opinions of you have nothing to do with you. And this is something I have learned recently and heard another person explain how that works and I think it's so interesting and it makes so much sense that I just want to pay it forward to you guys. So that's what I'm going to be talking about on Monday's live stream and this video will be up on Sunday so you'll have time to head over and go to my Facebook page and click the reminder button. I'll link the post down below so you don't have to worry about that. Click the link, click the reminder button and, and you'll get a, a notification when I go live. So hopefully as many as possible of you guys want to come and hang out on that live stream. I'll probably do that live stream from home as well, so you won't have to listen to this echo during the entire live stream. Um, but other than that, I don't have anything more for today's video. Two videos in a row from the office. But if I know you guys correctly, which I think I do after this long, <laughs> you don't mind. I think a lot of you guys enjoy this kind of like cleaning, moving, sorting, organizing. I know you guys like that stuff. I love that stuff. So that's cool with me. So thank you guys for watching today and we will see each other a lot more going forth uh, from this uh, office space. I just have to fix the, <laughs> the sound. Um, it was really cheap, I think. No, I'm just rambling again, but whatever. Um, the clothing rack plus the moving blanket together, so for one of those sound dampening walls, a DIY wall, I think it cost... Um, how much? Oh, I have the receipt here. Mm. It cost about, say, $22 for one of those walls. So if I would have to like get make two more of those walls to put on the sides of where I'm recording or put on the side of me here or in front of me or whatever, it's not the end of the world. It's really cheap. So hopefully it, uh, it works decently. I mean, if it doesn't work, those $22 are wasted anyway. But I'm, I think it helps a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully I'll see you on my live stream on Monday evening. Evening for me. Depends on where you live. So until then, have a super good one. See you later. Goodbye.